This one time in math class. This one time in math class. Real stories from the classroom. So we're taking a look at this. A plane flies 1.3 hours at 110 miles an hour on a bearing of 38. Great. Then it turns and flies 1.5 hours at the same speed on a bearing of 128. So I brought it up. What do we need to do? We need to make a triangle. Well, they've already done the triangle for us. Here, it looks like we're starting from this position over here. The plane is flying at 38 degrees from north in the easterly direction. So that's this. Whoop. And it flies at 110 miles an hour. For how long? 110 miles an hour for 1.3 hours. But we need a distance for this triangle. How are we going to see how far this plane flew? How about 1.3 times, because this is how many hours he flew, and then how far did the, or how long, how fast was the plane going? 110. So what do we get when we multiply that out? What is it? 143. So then 143. Aww. Does anybody remember old pager code? No? 143. They flew 143 miles. That's this right here. 143 miles. Because we're going to need distances here. I think. And then... Then it turns and flies for an hour and a half at the same speed on a bearing of 128. How far is the plane from the starting point? Dun, dun, dun! So this plane turns. I really think that that would up, upset the drink carts. <laughs> Just wham! Boom! Okay, so 128 degrees. Serious turn. We need to know how far this length of that plane's trip was. How you gonna go and do that, huh, huh? This time he flew for an hour and a half. 1.5 times 110 miles an hour. Who's got that for me? 160, how many? 165. And then that's how far he flew there. So this is 165. Now we can answer the question. How far is the plane from the starting point? Oh no! What are you gonna do? If I'm looking at this, bam. And I'm looking at this, bam. What are those lines? Starts with a P. Parallel. Yeah? Parallel. These lines are parallel. And what are they? They're cut by a transversal. Do you remember all that jazz? This transversal here. What do you know about alternate interior angles? They're the same? Sure. So then if this one's 38, then what's this one? Oh, I don't know, because that's, that's not the alternate parallel. <laughs> yeah, it's not the alternate interiors. How are you going to get that one? 180 minus 28. What's 180 minus 28? I don't know. Do you want? I'll do it. It's all on me. It's all on me. 52? 52? All right. Wait, now this is the point. What was this one? 38. That one's 38 because it's alternate interior. 38. Why am I doing all this business? I'm just trying to see how far this is. How far is that going to be? This piece. Andale. Freaking 90 degrees. Right. Right. It's a right triangle. It's a problem on getting our bearings straight. Bam, bam, boom. So now we're dealing with that right triangle. Oh, 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 right angle. Let's label the sides. Which side was longer? 143 or 165? 143? Na, 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 na. So then this one looks shorter, so I'll say 143. In whatever orientation. And then that one's 165. <laughs> How are we going to get that hypotenuse? If we're looking at that hypotenuse, that hypotenuse of that right triangle is going to be this distance x here. Uh, 
How are you going to find the third leg, or the hypotenuse of a right triangle? A squared plus B squared is C squared. We'll do that here. A squared plus B squared is C squared. So we got our A to be 1, 4, 3 squared plus 1, 6, 5 squared. That's equal to C squared. So C is plus and minus the square root, but we're dealing with distances, so we're not going to worry about the negative. What's 143 squared plus 165 squared? 47,674. Tell me that that's a perfect square. Oh, dang. So, okay, so what is that about? 218 to the nearest mile? 218.3? So we'll say 218. 218. What are my units? G's? Miles? Miles. <laughs> Box and flower. And for completeness, this is 218, you tell me? This one time in math class, this one time in math real stories from the classroom.